I had my SS out, so I figured I'd take a video of how I built this car since I've changed a few parts around. Started off as a 305 204R 7.5 rear car, and that didn't last long. What's in it now is a 6.0 liter LQ4 out of a 2006 van. It's got 243 heads, LS6 intake, Thunder Racing 230, 236 camshaft. So it makes pretty good power. Uh, heat only car. Not real concerned with air conditioning in this car. LS1 F body front accessories. The engine is mounted with LS small block Chevy mount plates basically you bolt the clamshell to them these are the non setback if this was the one inch setback I would have a clearance issue with where the alternator sits this is as far forward as it's gonna go it's about a quarter inch from the steering box I haven't really had an issue out of that no. Jeep Cherokee steering shaft which is a good upgrade Hedman 45036 G body LS conversion headers. These are one and seven eighths primary three inch collector. Um, this car's T56 six speeds, so there's your fluid reservoir. Here's the master cylinder. Had to reshape the firewall a little bit just to get this to sit in the right spot with the proper geometry of the clutch pedal. LT1 F body radiator fans. I built the upper plate there just to hold it all in. 1998 Camaro fuse box. I integrated all the wiring to get that to work. Fuel system. There's the regulator. C5 regulator right here. The feed and return come in. This is a custom line comes out. And it goes to single to the rail like it should. The interior is pretty much factory. The T56 shifter just comes out about the best place it could. I made the console plate for that. B&M shifter with aftermarket ball. It's an LS1 F body T56 come out of an 01 Trans Am. Took a little bit of tunnel work but not a whole lot. Um, pedals. G body brake pedal. I built the clutch pedal out of an S10. And there's the master hooks up where it should. The computer is right here. So that's behind the dash. Wiring goes through the tunnel and that's the OBD2 port. Mounts in the factory location where the original OBD0 would have been. The gauges work. I converted the speedometer to electronic but everything works. The speedo goes through the PCM so it can get the right signal. Uh, suspension and brakes. Um, LT1 rear disc off of a 95 Camaro. And then C5 Z06 front disc off of a C5 Z06 but the coupe has the same ones and this is a upgrade well worth the money car stops a lot better with the disc disc you need to get the proper conversion block which is located right there on the frame the t56 went in quite well didn't really need a whole lot of tunnel work the cross member is the jags double hump 700 r4 or 4l60 i adapted it for the t56 only thing that really needed to be done was add a plate and change the mounting angle of the transmission to get the proper geometry in the drivetrain. And then aftermarket chromoly drive shaft. One thing with a T56, that line there is what's known as a speed bleeder. The lower one is a slave cylinder. Can't really get it, but yeah, it's a it's a three foot long line with a valve on the end of it, so you can bleed the clutch from the driver's seat. Definitely highly recommended. Uh, exhaust is dual three inch pipes, race pro mufflers, got an X pipe in it. 
and goes up over the axle. UMI performance, front and rear sow with sway bars. Major change was the Holly oil pan and it definitely helps with clearance. I had the GM muscle car pan it would hang down. This sits quite well. The battery's in the trunk so grounds are definitely your friend. And that's a ground cable going from the block to the frame. And there's the UMI front sway bar, solid sway bar. The rear is a quick performance housing nine inch that was custom ordered to fit the LT1 F body brakes. Tank is a GM EFI tank. Got the EFI sending unit Walboro pump, Walboro 255 in it. The housing fits quite well in this car. It's got UMI solid sway bar, UMI lower control arms, UMI adjustable uppers so I can center the rear. The LT1 brakes, a little bit of a clearancing needed but they fit. Could probably mount them on the other side, wouldn't have had an issue. The e-brake is fully functional, had to work my way around that one. Dual 3 inch exhaust up over the axle here and out each side. And then like I said, I-box springs, Bilstein shocks. Car rides really smooth. Plenty of power. It's pretty damn fun. It's got 3D9 gears in it with a six speed making a little over 500 horsepower, so. Had it like that for a few years now and really don't have any intention on changing it. Uh, being EFI, which I'll take that any day. You just reach in and starts right up. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I mean, it's got a few dings and dents and probably needs a paint job, but. I'm not going for beauty, I'm going for fun.